Okay then guys, what is going on? Cloud plays here and welcome back to another video here in Outriders. Today we have got an awesome one for you with a selection of weapons that you guys need to be getting your hands on. Now these primarily work for the Technomancer, although some of them, because of the roles that they have on them, will be able to be utilised across numerous different characters. So today we're going to be going through some god roles that you guys need to be keeping an eye out for and making sure you don't dismantle, or at least before we get that new locking feature by the end of the month hopefully. And breaking down why they're so good and why you need to look out for them. With that being said, if you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated. Also, if you're watching this on live, we're also now live on Twitch. As you can see, we're all set up here on the cam. It looks great. Link down in the description for you guys to come and check some of the stream out. With that being said, let's jump in. So starting off, we have my all-time favorite and my lucky roll. This roll dropped within the first few days of me running inside of the new World Slayer DLC, and that is the Messenger. Now, the Messenger here has always been a renowned weapon that you guys are always going to want to get hold of, mainly for that crit buff damage and the long-range damage for the Technomancer. But this is the one right here just eats the cake. We have the Dimensional Rockets, which rolls on every single Messenger, and we managed to to be able to put ours in with Mage's Rage. Now, Mage's Rage is a critical shot that grants a 10% anomaly bonus for 15 seconds. Now, the reason this works across most of the characters right now is because a lot of builds are revolved around the anomaly base production, or at least any of the AP builds that we've got going, and they seem to be the more prevalent builds that are in the community right now. Alongside that, we managed to get Omen. Now, shots launch a covering piercing Anomaly projectile that inflicts bleed and deals 807,000 damage and applies a status that increases damage received by 10% for 3 seconds. This is a very, very big mod that you want to have in your third slot and one that may not come very often, but you are going to want to keep your eye out for it. The main reason for this is the infliction on bleed is always, always an amazing bonus. On top of that, it does also give you guys that buff damage of 807,000. This is an absolutely huge mod and everyone has been talking about it as of recently alongside the mage's rage so if you can get a double roll with that the dimensional rockets on top just gives that nice added extra where four closest enemies manage to have four rockets attract towards them every time you hit a critical shot and each rocket deals over a million in damage it's freaking insane but it's just one of those ones that you guys need to be having in your arsenal Next up, the one weapon which escapes absolutely everybody and one that I do really, really enjoy using, especially on the Technomancer, is the Final Penance. Now, the reason the Final Penance is so damn good is because it has Mage's Rage already built onto it. So essentially, it means all you're looking for is the third slot variable. Now, for this, we have got Violent Rupture. Now, this is an amazing mod and one that you may not want to potentially use for the Technomancer or anything like that, but don't oversee it. This weapon causes so much damage damage it is just ridiculous especially if you manage to proc fortress into it into the second slot as well we are running a triple three tier mod system for this one we've got mages rage we all know what that does fortress shots increase at your current armor and resistance by five percent and an attack maximum of the 20% damage bonus is increased for 10 seconds. Now, 20% damage bonus is just mental. The, it's just a crazy. It is so well done that this mod has always been a prevalent mod since the original days of year one. Alongside that, Violent Rupture also causes a volcanic explosion, causing over 2 million in damage within a 6 meter radius. This is huge, and for a weapon like this, it wasn't something I was watching out for, but after actually being able to utilize it, this weapon is beyond overpowered, to say the least, especially considering the main attributes for this. For a Technomancer, would be really good, alongside the critical damage and the long range damage that you have attached to that as well. So as an overall, the Final Penance is probably going to be one of the toppest tier weapons that you want to get your hands on. Without having a triple three tier mod slot, it's a no-brainer. This is something you need to have in your arsenal. And then for me, this one was also a very good one. Now, you do find that there are a lot of common denominators within these god roll weapons, and that does seem to happen all across the board inside of this game at the moment, just because of the way that it play styles and the way that it works. As the balance shifts, the weapon selections will change alongside a lot of the armor sets that are used at any one time. 
But this one right here is the imploder. Now we'll pop this on so you guys can see it at uh, its full movement. And we have got for this a fortress, mage's rage, and deadly disturbance. Now this works for me very, very well because it all revolves around that crit hit damage bonus. We have got the mage's rage, which we all know of uh, with the 10% anomaly bonus for 15 seconds on crit shots. We've got the shots increasing your current armor and resistance stack, which gives you the 20% damage bonus alongside fortress. And then we've got the deadly disturbance. Now this is where the 20% damage bonus does increase and works really really well alongside the anomaly damage which is also going to be increased which will give you guys even a bigger bonus on this one now critical shots activate an unstable anomaly effect in your enemy causing them to explode dealing over a million damage to other enemies within a five meter radius now this is huge alongside the fortress and mages rage perk this works so damn well it is mental now the three perks that we've got for this, we'll utilize mainly around the Trickster, maybe the Devastator, potentially even the Pyromancer if you're utilizing that sort of thing. But because it's got the close range damage, you want to be in and out and dipping and weaving. The Weapon Life Leech and the Healing Received definitely helps a lot as well. But this is one which is really, really underrated. And I don't really see till I spoke about too often, but the triple tier, three tier mod is working very, very well on this one. The Deadly Disturbance is one which is probably highly underplayed, mainly because it works on more of an exploding effect and it's kind of an aoe damage effect but if you can get it around those tight-knit beast ones so we've got the runs inside of tarry Gratara, the expeditions that are primarily beast orientated they generally tend to couple up quite well so utilizing something like this works very very impressively and that's just three weapons that we've managed to collect together which are of a god roll status in my eyes and work very very well and ones that you probably want to be keeping your eye out for so we've got the imploder with the third mod variant slot of fortress we have got the messenger with the third mod variant slot of omen and then we have also got the final penance which has the violent rupture third mod variant slot or if you can get it with fortress as well then you can still get the same role on this it is very very good how these weapons work and these for me are probably some of the better ones you want to be keeping an eye out for and if you have happened to watch this far, I just want to let you guys know of our Discord server. So far, we are over 400 members at large over the space of the last week. And you guys can jump in too. This will involve so many different people inside of the community, such as people who are doing carries, people who are doing APOC boosting for you. There are people who want help. So if you are able to add in the extra support and help the community, then jump it in as well. Or if you just fancy just knocking it back and kicking down with some games, with some like-minded gamers then we are absolutely loaded up for that as well this has been an absolute experience inside of the discord server and we're growing it every single day and i'm so gassed to be able to collect all of this community all in one place to just share something that we all enjoy which is outriders and gaming as an overall it will be expanding into other games and being able to be expanded into other games means that a load more people will be able to join as well meaning that you guys may find some of your new best friends inside of the gaming community just down in the description Go and click it in and give it a check out. Even if you're not a fan of it, you can jump straight out afterwards. You, you got nothing to lose. Now, so we've got time for today. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the live stream down in the description. Check it out. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate your faces, and I'll see you in the clouds. A bloody PC makes a noise every time at the wrong point. Peace.